today I want to get really real with you about why your message isn't drawing your ideal clients in. And then I'm going to share some tips with you on how to actually fix that. And you're going to realize that these fixes are actually not that difficult. Okay. So hopefully this gives you a little boost in your behind to change up some things really simply, not overwhelming. I promise everything that I share is not something that's going to take you all day long to figure out or get done. Okay. But it can make a huge difference in what's happening on social media for you. So if you're in this place where you're constantly putting yourself out there, or maybe you're not, I got something for you if you're not, but if you're constantly putting yourself out there and you hear crickets, nothing is happening, or maybe it's taking you way too long to actually put out a piece of content that gets people to activate, right? To engage, to click, to respond to you then this is for you. If we haven't met before, my name is Gina Tassinelli. I'm the founder of and CEO of Hype Media, as well as Stylishly Branded and Style Rebel Mama. And we work with experts just like yourself, high profile, high level experts that are actively seeking to become irresistible to premium clients as the go-to solution using social media. And not just using social media, like just posting, right? Because that's not really what it's all about. It's about humanizing your brand with impact content without using overwhelming, trendy tech. I don't use it over here. I've been in business 15 years. It's not necessary. And a very, very simple, scalable, holistic marketing system so that we can help you ignite your influence into this bold, powerful presence and humanized presence online. So if we haven't met, I'd love to know. Just say new down below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Share a little bit about your business. Drop a link to your business. It's okay. Self-promote yourself. Again, we're here to be social, right? So it's all good with me. All right, let's jump in. So today is episode six of our impact with the power of video series. And I want to share with you why your message isn't drawing in ideal clients. And I'm going to give you a few tips to fix that. Okay. So let's start with number one, mistake. Number one, lack of clarity. You have not yet nailed down your message. You're kind of like all over the place. You're not sure who your ideal client is. And a lot of that has just honestly has to do with your own confidence. You are maybe trying to be everything to everyone and you haven't honed down and focused more on a particular group of people or groups of people. So you're kind of all over the place. So one thing I encourage you to do is take a look at your content and see if it's crystal clear or if it's more like a riddle, like, you know, people just aren't getting it because you're using maybe super fancy words. You're trying to be way too creative and out of the box. And sometimes that can lead to a lot of misinformation and just confusion for people. So make sure that your message is speaking directly to your audience's needs, not to what you think they want to hear or what you think. I mean, yes, we do want to give them what they want, but we need to say it in a way that they are saying it back to us, if that makes sense. So here's an example. Let's say that you are a productivity coach. Okay. And your audience is struggling with time management. What happens is you may beat around the bush and not address time management head on. So here's an example of something that you might say, maximize your potential. I've actually heard that a lot. Maximize your potential. What does that actually mean? That can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. So instead say something like, are you struggling to juggle your work and life? Let me help you find balance straight to the point. Okay. There's a few more words to that, but that's okay. We need to be really super clear. Make sense. Okay. The second mistake that I see happening is ineffective targeting. So here's where you're going to put your detective hat on and you're going to do some digging. So I don't know if, if you know, but some of you may know this just from being in my spaces. I have two bachelors. I have two degrees, one in criminology and one in communications. My criminology degree was because I have this passion and interest in crime and, you know, like high profile cases. I follow them. I research them. I continue to follow them to see what's happening even years after 
I watch them. I love shows like Dateline. I am constantly investigating. Okay. And I use this in my own business as a marketer. I do a lot of research when it comes to like human behavior, things like that. Right. So as a business owner, we also need to put on our detective hat and we need to find out exactly who our audience really is and what makes them tick. What are they thinking about late at night? What are their worries? More than just, I help moms over 40. Okay. We want to get really, really specific. And once you have this Intel per se, then you can create different ideal client personas, maybe two or three. So you have different types of clients. And what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to tailor your message to each specific type of client. Okay. So here's an example. Let's say you're a business coach. Instead of casting this wide net with like a generic post, you want to target specific pain points that your ideal clients may have. So if you know that they are busy moms, talk about how your coaching can help them manage their time and their business more effectively, but be specific to be speaking out to busy moms. So what are the things that moms are dealing with? Driving their kids back and forth from school, sports right? After school activities, helping with homework, packing lunches. How can you help them to manage all of that within their business so they have a successful business, but still have this balance with their life? So rather than just speaking to anybody, okay? All right. Third mistake I see happen often is a weak brand storytelling. This is the number one way to help you to stand out from the crowd because they are your own stories, your own experiences, your own case studies, right? So your brand story shouldn't put people to sleep and you need to have one. And I actually worked with someone about a year or two ago to really help me to put my brand story out there so I could really articulate it in a way that made sense. I will be sharing that inside of the Power of You workshop. And even though I help others with this, it's hard for you to do it on your own because you're too close to it, right? So we're going to pull things out of you. I'm going to help you pull things out of you to create your very own unique brand story that's going to not put people to sleep, that's going to actually be something that people are inspired by. And you may think that you don't have one, but you actually do. Sometimes we got to go way in the past. Sometimes we have to dig deep. Sometimes we have to be really, really vulnerable, okay? But it should make your audience sit up and take notice. And this is going to allow you to really resonate with your audience and inject your personality and your own flair into your messaging as well. So using story techniques like suspense, resolutions, you know, drama, and we don't have to give people the nitty gritty details to traumatic things that have happened in our lives. Okay. But you do have a brand story. It includes your, you know, your growing up what you're passionate about, your skills, your experiences, things that you love to do. So it doesn't always have to be like this traumatic experience like people think. All right. So here's a quick example of this. So let's say again, you're a business coach. Instead of having this like bland bio, you share a personal story, maybe about yourself, which would honestly be the best because then it creates this more of this human connection with you guys. Or it could also be a personal story about a client who went from being overwhelmed to overjoyed with your help right? People love a great success story. And this is going to, again, make you more relatable, more memorable, and really resonate with your audience. So I'm going to give you a quick little recap. We are on episode six of our Impact with the Power of Video series. And this is all about why your message isn't drawing in ideal clients and how to fix it. So number one, there is a lack of clarity in your message. Okay. So nail down your message. Take a look, a great look at your content and see if it's crystal clear or is it more like a riddle? Just get straight to the point. Number two, get laser focused. You have ineffective targeting. That's your number two mistake. Ineffective targeting fixes by getting laser focused. Put your detective hat on and do some digging. Find out exactly who your audience really is and what is going to make them tick. And number three, you have a weak brand story. So spice up your story. Your brand story should not put people to sleep, okay? We want them to sit up 
and take notice of you. All right. So I will be back here live until then. Remember to stay social. Bye guys.